A light drizzle began to fall as the men turned onto Belvedere Road. Laurie pulled up his collar as they walked the dingy, damp street that ran parallel to the Thames, the beginnings of the new Royal Festival Hall blocking the view to the river. It beg a belief that it would leave people without proper houses to live in and spend a fortune on a so-called festival, as if people could come and dance themselves out of strife and not worry that they were still having to use ration books and make do. They climbed the steps up onto Waterloo Bridge as raindrops landed on Laurie's cheeks like saltless tears. Back home when it rained, he'd like to stand outside and let it baptise him, the water cleansing, rejuvenating. English rain made him feel grubby, falling from that filthy sky, its dank grime sinking into his skin until he felt contaminated. <laughs>